Alright everybody, welcome back to another vlog, and in today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you um, three PCs that you can build at three different price points. So, so this first one here is a $500 price point, um, then we have a $1,000 and a $1,500. So the first one here that we have is a $500 price point, as you can see, $597.88. Okay, so with six dollars shipping, and I think on Amazon they actually might have everything. No, nope, they don't have our case or our RAM, so whatever. Anyway, so the first one here that we have is the Ryzen 5 2600. Uh, now I chose this processor because I have the 2600X, and I really like my 2600X because. Um, you can overclock it because it is a Ryzen CPU and um, it includes a stock cooler too so that's nice that we can uh, get um, a uh, stock cooler with it so we didn't have we probably could have gone with the 2600X but I thought um, I would spend the $20 more in different spots now here um, we have my motherboard here, which is the um, Strix B450F Gaming motherboard. Now I squeezed this in at the last second versus the Tomahawk because I decided that this one gave you more um, upgradability um, in the future um, because you could um, upgrade to four RAM slots, you could get more expansion cards, um, obviously. Um, you could get another SATA device, um, a few more M.2s. So that's kind of why I chose this one over the Tomahawk. And then here is our RAM. Now we did um, kind of cheap out on our RAM. So um, this was kind of more, it's a little slow for Ryzen. Um, but um, it was a good price because um, if we went with a... It was G Scale. Um, they had a 16 gigabyte kit for 62, and I didn't want to go with that kit because we were two dollars over budget, and I tried my very best. All of these are under budget, so um, and I felt like eight was a little not very much. Um, so that's kind of why I came to this RAM. Now the next storage here that we have is a mechanical hard drive um, because, you know, um, basically your mass storage. Now it's only one terabyte just because we couldn't really afford a two terabyte hard drive in this build. Um, we could in the next build, but not in this one. And it's still, hard drive is great. But we have a 240 gig drive. Um, which you could put, what, this is only a 120? Oh, okay, I, I guess it's a 120. Anyway, um, you can still put your windows on here, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is, your hard drive's really your main storage. Now, we actually, um, got a 550 in here, um, which... I thought was pretty impressive. Now I kind of had to um, kind of redo my system here um, after I decided to bring in the 550. Um, I was originally going to do a 1030, um, but then I decided to spend the extra money and get the 550. And then we have this case here. Now it's kind of an ugly case. Um, it comes with no fans, which um, we did get fans. So um, thirty six ninety eight, I thought was a decent deal. Um, I mean, obviously you kind of would want to upgrade this as soon as you can. Um, this is just kind of one of those starter cases. Um, and then we have our five fifty watt power supply. Um, Actually, it's a 500 watt power supply, but I kind of chose this one one because um, it was 
80 plus bronze at least. Um, it was from a pretty good um, power supply manufacturer. Um, EVGA is a very good power supply manufacturer. And it has all black cables, which I really liked. I mean, all black cables was basically, I mean, the seller for this one. And then the last thing that we have is six of these very nice Arctic fans um, to fill up our case. And as you can see, total is $597.88. So the next system here that we have. All right, everybody, welcome. And um, this clip is being recorded the next day, but I got my um, $1,000 system back, the one I was really proud of. So I am going to sub this one in instead. So the first... Um, part here that we have is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. Now, in the previous build, we went with the 2600, but I have the 2600X and really like the processor um, because now, actually I'm pretty, yeah, the other one has six cores as well, but uh, either way, I'm um, still great processor, really love it, so I decided to go with it. Now, we won't be using the stock cooler. We will be using the Deep Cool Captain 360XE. One, because I like the white design. Um, two, uh, you get RGB strips, which are always great. Um, you get a controller for that, which is also very cool. Um, and SATA power cable. It only requires a SATA power cable, so that's always nice as well. Um, now the RGB, I like having light strips, um, because since only the water block is RGB, um, it's a nice touch to have, um, light strips, um, with it. Now the next part that we have is the ASRock X370 Killer SLI slash AC motherboard. Now I chose this one, um, because first off, this looks pretty sick. I mean, it's a white and black motherboard with kind of some RGB there, which I like. Um, now, the next feature, um, I don't know why that's, why that's, oh, that's the M.2 Wi-Fi. So that, that's a nice inclusion, but what's really cool about it is you also um, have Wi-Fi um, antennas. So, which is cool, obviously. And then you have to put the IO shield on, no pre um, installed a IO shield, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. The next thing that we have is G Scale Rip Jaws V Series 16 gigabytes. Um, now, I would have liked um, it to be a little higher than 3200 megabytes, but. Um, either way, um, you can always upgrade this in, in the future. Alright, I, I'm sorry for that. I couldn't figure out what device it was, so hopefully it doesn't do it again. And I really like the nice, um, black design. Um, the black, white, and, uh, red design because it kind of goes with our motherboard, um, and our cooler. So, next thing that we have here is a Kingston A400. 240 gigabyte um, solid state drive. Now this is basically the same storage configuration that I have um, right now and it's really working out for me so you know I thought I would do that. Um, and then we also have a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte hard drive which is always great. Um, if you're like me and um, edit quite a few videos um, it's always nice to have um, this mass storage here. Now the next thing here that we have is two XFX Radeon uh, RX 574 gigabyte cards for a total of eight gigabytes. Um, actually, I think you could add them up to get eight gigabytes. I would think, but anyway. Um, uh, the red is kind of coming back here in the build again, which is always good to kind of have somewhat of a color scheme here um, for your build. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, this is a really um, cool 
Um, I've used, I haven't personally used it, but um, I've added this to many parts list over the past, in the past. Now, the next thing here that we have is the Deep, Deep Cool Matrix 50 ATX Mid Tower Case. Now, as you can see, we have one included 120mm fan in the back. Um, you'll see later that we have two more fans that would go on the top. And then we'll put our 360, obviously, right there in the front, which is really cool. Um, nice, cheap, um, cool-looking case um, is kind of what I have to say about it. And what the heck. Okay. Now, the power supply is quite overkill. We have the Corsair RM 2019 750 watt 80 plus gold certified uh, ATX power supply, which is pretty overkill. So, here are your cables. As you can see, um, with the power supply, this is very overkill. Um, honestly, you could probably scale that down if you really wanted to, but. Then we have the Creative um, Lab 70SB15700 sound card, whatever it's crap. Um, and I really like my sound card. Now, you can get one for $15 like I did, but I, I recommend going from like a brand like Creative Labs instead of some like random brand like I did. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely recommended. And then, as you can see, we have our Deep Pool X Fan 120 fans. Now, um, I did find these for about six to seven dollars, so not too much. Now, ear, and then we have our Dua SLI. Uh, actually, sorry, Crossfire Bridge. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say SLI. But um, now you're probably like, well, if you add this up, you got 91. Plus like eight plus like twelve, and you're like, well, that equals like a thousand and two, and you're probably like, well, why did we go two dollars over budget? Now I have video proof that yesterday the system was a thousand dollars. It it was a thousand dollars yesterday. So yeah, um, let's go on now to the uh. $1,500 build. The last build that we have today is a $1,500 build. And as you can see, $1,490, so $1,498 because of our crossbow bridge, which we're using the same one, so we don't need to go over it. But we have the AMD Ryzen 3700X, eight cores, um, only two more cores than our last build, but totally fine. Um, same cooler, um, same reasons, I mean, Obviously, uh, light strips are a great bonus. And then 360, obviously. I mean, then we have the Gaming Edge, has Wi Fi um, compatibility like that. Um, you know, upgrade. Um, now, we still have 16 gigabytes of RAM, um, which it's RGB and Corsair this time, so that's pretty cool um, to get RGB RAM this time. Now this one we have a we got a 500 gigabyte SSD this time, which I think is uh, really great. And then we have the same two terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda, same thing because I really like that one. Um, and then we have the video card I have, um, which is a great video card. Um, obviously the back plate is really great as well, and it is a. Uh, RX 580. Um, this time they're eight gigabyte cards instead of four gigabyte cards. So yeah, uh, MSI makes um, great cards. Then we have the Fractal Design Mishify C, which um, is a really great case. Um, I looked at getting this case, um, but didn't get it. Um, I should have got the white version, but you know, um, it comes with one fan in the back and then these two um, fractal design fans would go on the top and then your 360 would go on the front to fill that out and then we have Corsair RMX 750 watt power supply 80 plus gold fully modular so yeah that's pretty much um, all the parts so guys I want to thank you for watching this build
this video and have a great and fantastic rest of your day. Go.